Hi, my name is Andre Desertel. I'm a middle school science teacher in Louisiana, and I'm also on the Whole Brain Teaching Executive Board. This is a Whole Brain Teaching study video, and I'm going to demonstrate a four-step sequence that I will continuously use throughout the lesson, and these four steps are represented by these four power cards I'm holding. The first power card is the attention getter power card. It's how we get our students focus. And it works something like this. Class. Yes. So now they're focused and they're ready to receive information. Now we want to give that some variety. So however I say class is how they will say yes. Let's practice that. Class city class. Yes city yes. What's popping class? What's What's poppin', poppin', yes. yes. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. So right there that's the first card, the attention getter. And our next power card is options. And our first option is mirror words. Whenever I say mirror words, students say mirror words, make my gestures and repeat my words. Let's try that one. Mirror words. Mirror words. Today. Today. We're going to learn. We're going to learn. Another science wonder. Another science wonder. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Mirror is all. Mirror is all. So right there was option number one, mirror words. Option number two is called hands and eyes. When the teacher has a great, important point to make to the class, the teacher will say, hands and eyes. Students will respond, hands and eyes, lean forward with intense focus, waiting to hear the big, important point. Let's try that one. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. So right there, I have their focus. And then our third option is called scoreboard. And this is our classroom motivator. It's a game. And the way it works is whenever I want to reinforce desired behaviors, I'll put points on this scoreboard. Whenever I give them a one-second party, they're going to let out a one-second response. And it sounds something like this. Give me a one second. Oh, yeah. Now, whenever I want to redirect them or ask for an improvement, I'm not going to scold. I'm just going to say, give me a mighty groan. And it sounds and looks like this. Give me a mighty groan. Oh. Good job. So that is our third option, scoreboard. Now, our next power card is called direct instruction. I like to think of this card as the one minute card, meaning that I don't want to spend any more time than one minute on this card. Now, if you notice, it's set up into bullets. I'm going to talk about one bullet, no longer than one minute, before my students get a chance to practice that bullet. Then I'll call them back and give them the second bullet and so on. That is our direct instruction card. Then that will move us into our fourth power card, which is collaborative learning. The collaborative learning step is really simple to implement. Whenever I clap twice and say teach, students clap back twice and say okay. Let's try that. Teach. Okay. And then they would turn and teach their neighbor whatever we just talked about. Now the great thing about the collaborative learning step is it allows the teacher a chance to navigate the lesson by hearing what their students are saying. Could they comprehend the major point we just made? If so, we can keep the train going. If not, we may have to back it up. So that's a very critical step, the collaborative learning piece. Now. At the end of this video, I'm going to do a self-evaluation. I'm going to use the Whole Brain Teaching video rubric to score myself. Before we start the video, I want to challenge myself with a goal. And my goal for this video is to introduce a critical thinking task to my students right at the start. Give them the question and then come right out of the gates with critical thinking. Let's see how we do.